Walk around our city centres and the shutters of many businesses are still drawn. Without office workers, sandwiches aren't needed at lunch and post-work pints remain unpoured. Staff here at Manchester's Piccadilly train station say passenger numbers are creeping up, but the return of a rush hour still seems a long way off. The real question now is whether or not office workers feel confident enough heading back to their desks. If you feel comfortable going back, some people are missing it, aren't they? But I don't think you should be forced to go back. A lot of people will be asking themselves, you know, is there a real need to, to have office space in, in a city centre? For bosses like Mark, who says productivity has held up with home working, it's a decision for the staff themselves. How would you feel about coming back into the office? Personally, I enjoy working from home and I'm not in a rush to come back into the office, although I want to see people, but kind of on a bigger scale, um, it's almost economic resurgence versus risk to death and risk of a second wave. As a boss, you're obviously in charge of your employees' safety as well. At what point do you think it will be safe for them to come back into work? We can look at the, the safety guidelines and implement those, but there is still a, just a, a general nervousness from our team. You know, will they feel comfortable? You know, so if we're bringing people back to create a culture, I mean, what is that new culture? If that's a culture of nervousness and reluctance, then that's going to be a real issue. Across town, this company has reconfigured its offices to encourage staff who want to come back that it's safe. The thing that's clear for us is we're not forcing anybody to come back. Um, we're going to take our time and make sure we get it right. Um, and slowly people are starting to maybe have a day in the office, maybe a couple of days here or there, just for a chain of scenery. Some people are desperate to, to get out and, and get back to, to, to the working environment. Other people are more happy working from home and that's something that we're fully supporting. Of course, working from home is a luxury not everyone has been able to enjoy, but for those who have, it's unlikely they'll ever go back fully to the way things were, leaving city centre's fates in the balance. Vincent McAvinney, 5 News, Manchester.